new shellfish sauce is all set to tickle your taste buds. So watch out, oyster sauce! The first Singapore-made mussel sauce has been developed through a collaboration between Nanyang Polytechnic and the Agri-Food and Veterinary Authority of Singapore, or AVA. Oyster sauce has been one of the staple condiments in Chinese kitchens, but the new contender may give oyster sauce a run for its money. For one, mussel sauce is actually healthier, according to a research by its developers. First of all, no trans fats. Mm -hmm. Secondly, very high in omega-3, which is good for your heart, and uh, very rich in vitamin B12 and uh, vitamin C as well. And in fact, uh, some of these mussels have got uh, high... Um, um, mineral content. Oysters is famous for zinc. That's why they say take more oysters, you get more this aphrodisiac effect, you know, but uh, mussels has got um, nutritional mineral contents in, um, I think it's in um, iron and so forth. Besides being a healthy option, this mussel sauce chalks up some savings too. According to its developers, it will be a less expensive alternative to oyster sauce, though the price has not yet been confirmed and shoppers can expect the product on supermarket shelves next year. Made from mussel broth, the product makes good use of this byproduct of mussel processing, which would have been discarded anyway. This project is one of several joint efforts by the AVA and Nanyang Polytechnic under a Memorandum of Understanding, or MOU. Because Nanyang Poly is one of those uh, in the forefront of innovation, I think last year they won the uh, National Innovation Award. So we thought this is a good place to start. Last year, you know, we, we decided that, well, we should, you know, start working with our polytechnics and our universities, you know, to leverage on what they have. We felt that, well, there's a lot that the poly can help us in the work that we do, how to enhance productivity and how to use technology to do those kind of work. And besides, they also have a chemical and life sciences in which uh, fits our role very well because we are in the so-called food business, we are working with the food industry and, and the principal and I decided, yes, MOU will help us formalise this collaboration, institutionalise some of this work that we want to do for the benefit of the uh, industry. Working with the AVA also gives students relevant experience in the industry. This has um, helped us to keep our courses relevant to the needs of the industry, as well as to help our students um, become industry ready when they graduate. I think this is the, the key point of why we get involved in all these collaborations. Also, Singapore faces challenges in becoming self-sufficient in food supply as a non-food producer. For this reason, AVA has adopted a diversified approach to ensure a resilient supply of food for Singapore. Other projects that Nanyang Poly and the AVA are working on include developing safe methods for processing fruits and ready-to-eat vegetables such as salads, the development of an automated fish fascination machine in order to increase fish survival rate, and also using natural local fungi as fungicides to guard common flora against harmful fungal infection. So, Singaporeans can look forward to more locally made food products. It could mean more competitive grocery prices with products tailored to suit the needs of locals. Next, we take a peek behind the scenes to find out how Singapore's first mussel sauce is made, as well as how the processing method for vegetables works.